There's a ton of features in Power BI that you can utilize to enhance your development experience or the outputs that you're showing to your users. Now, I've been using Power BI for just over five years and I only came across some of these features in the last year or even the last month. So on that note, in this video, I'll be going over 10 features that you probably don't know that you should because they're really great features that Power BI offers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, I'm Raja, the Power BI guy, and I teach Power BI, SQL, Excel, and just general data content. So for more videos like this, do like and subscribe. But let's just go ahead and get started. Starting off with number one, in Power Query, you can profile your data. So this is to see errors or blanks within the data set in Power Query. Now, people often think this is only done on a sample of the data. Now, if you go to the bottom left hand corner, you can change this to the entire data set. Now you can see the data quality or the profile of that column across your entire data set. I never knew about this up until recently, but it's really useful for identifying errors or blanks, that transformation and cleansing layer. I wish I knew this one sooner. Number two, conditional formatting your line charts. Now, when it comes to your markers, you can't actually adjust this in a native line chart. But if you create a clustered column chart, apply your conditional formatting and then switch that to a line chart, it retains the conditional formatting that you set up on your clustered bar chart. It's a really neat trick where you just simply switch the visual and it carries it over and now you have conditional formatting for your line charts. This is really neat. Let's say it's a bug, I don't know, but it's really useful. Number three, page navigation. When you build reports that have a lot of report pages, it can be really painful to navigate and find the pages that you need to go to. Trust me, it's a pain. Now, what you can do is go to the bottom left hand corner, right click, and then it lets you select the pages that you need to go to. I never knew about this for the longest time. I wish I found out this one sooner. Number four, when you're working with your data sets, you often have to do a refresh as you're developing just to get the latest numbers or because you've made a change. Now, you don't have to refresh the entire data set. You can just right click the table and there's an option to refresh individual tables. In production environments, this saves a lot of time because these aren't small tables, some of them, and you have to wait for the entire data set. Well, you don't. You can individually refresh tables and it's number five, navigating Power Query columns. So when you're in Power Query, you often have to navigate to certain columns to make transformations or do some logic. Stop scrolling for those columns. What you can do is press Control G. This will allow you to search or see the list of columns, select one and then go to that column. It's such a time saver. I never knew this one for a long time as well. I was just scrolling through to find my column. Number six, syncing your slices across your report pages. Now, when you have reports, your users often would like to select a particular year or a product type, whatever your data is, they want to search on a particular piece of information. Now, you're able to sync your slices so that when they're on one page, it then affects the slicer on the other page as well. Or you can just hide it from the other page, it's completely up to you, but you have options when it comes to syncing your slices in your report pages by utilizing sync slices. Number nine, when you're writing your measures, if you ever have to make a bulk change to your measures, you can press Control Shift L and it will select that entire word and then wherever that word's repeated inside that measure, it will also appear. Number nine, field parameters. This was a new release and it was quite a big release where a lot of people know about it, but if you don't, you're missing out. Field parameters allow you to change your measure or value in your visuals. So let's say you have two, three different measures. You can put a field parameter inside a visual and then have a slicer that allows you to change between your different measures and change the visual output as well. So for example, your sales, orders, and then let's say profit. You could change a line chart to show any of these three calculations based on a slicer selection. This is a massive feature that you can utilize in your reports to just take them to that next level and give your users ultimate functionality